did you did you look at the casting thing I sent you? Because they were looking for people. I know it's boys. Yeah. But they were looking for people in the UK. So have you looked at it? No, I haven't looked at it because it was boys. But I might look at it. But also, I don't know if I want to start anything right now. Okay, sure. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, I move back home. I'm gonna do be doing so, uh, something completely different. I'm gonna be done with like proper school. So I just mm-hmm. wanna sort of that. That seems like a fresh, fresh start. Yeah. You know, so I wanna do that, and that's when I wanna like more focus on these things. You know, it just doesn't seem like there's much of a point to it. I mean, I would gain a bit of experience, but that's all it would be. Because then I would have to restart again in Hungary, anyways. Yeah, I know. So, you know. Well, yeah. I had it easier because I didn't move. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, no, it was still useful yeah. that I moved, you know. I don't really regret moving, I guess. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. It was, it was very useful, for example, with my nerves. Because uh, I remember before I moved, I was terrified just uh, having a, a, what is it, a presentation in front of the class. Except if it was about certain thing, because you were straight up just going, "Hey, boys!" Yeah, of course, but I was still very nervous. So if okay. it was like things about I was very passionate about, I remember doing the Danish girl. I was very into it, but then then people were like, "Ugh." I was like, "Thank you." I, was like, right. I love that movie though, and it's so cool. And I was very fascinated. I remember I mentioned this. I was very fascinated with the way her body was telling her that she's a woman by mm-hmm. bleeding through her nose every month. Which I know sounds stupid, but still, it's like... It, a sign. Body, yeah, it's a sign. Mm-hmm. It was just so cool. Yeah. And it's, it's not something that they shove in your face. They didn't go like, yeah, this is why it's happening. You had to figure yeah, out... What happens to every single person? What? Yeah. Yeah, but it was it was just so cool, and I loved it. The only reason I didn't like it because it was very sad in the end, because he uh, she didn't survive both her surgeries. Um. Yeah. So it was. Was that like, Eddie Redmayne? Hmm? Was that Eddie Redmayne? Yeah. Okay, I've got because I was like, I am pretty sure I got the movie that you're talking about, but I wasn't like a hundred percent sure I was like ninety nine. So I asked you, okay, I got it, yeah. Yeah, and so she didn't survive both her surgeries. And so she died in the end, and it was really, really sad. And then uh, I, the reason I didn't like it is because it's not really, like, an inspirational thing to transgender, uh, to the trans community. Uh, last night, I was... Uh, I remember that I did a video, did it well video on me, but like you were in like two seconds of it. I made a video on you know going to X Factor, mm-hmm. and I realized that I talked a lot about you in it, and you were also in one of the clips. So that was like so strange to see that like you would be here again, mm-hmm. because I've been on YouTube technically. My first video was uploaded in 2015, so it's been a while. Yeah. And it was weird to like look back at it and see how much I've changed and didn't change. Because in Aquarius, I didn't. Okay, now I have an eyeliner and stuff. But I literally look the same. Except I was skinnier, but anyway. Uh, and that that's the same thing. My, my voice got lower. That's it. That's literally it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've seen the video. Not that, that one. Wait, which one? Uh, it's story time. I was an X Factor. That's the title. Oh, yeah. Well, I've seen it, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> ah, so you didn't go to the end? No, I haven't watched it yet, but I have seen that you made it. You know. Ah. I haven't seen all your videos. Good. Yeah. What? <laughs> nice. I know the the one with your first audition was very sad because you know because of the part and how they told you but it was i found it hilarious <laughs> the video <laughs> itself was really fun I, I tried to like make it okay for myself because i was heartbroken about it but i was like may- maybe some people will find joy in it you know yeah apparently did so that's good yeah <laughs> and i found one that i had privated that was me trying to be 
hip. <laughs> and it was really bad. And it was Wait, really bad. Come again? Um, what? A video of me that I privated. It was 2015 June, maybe. And I privated it because I just took it off. And then I rewatched it last night because I was like, why, why is it private? And then I realized I know why it's private because I was trying to be way too hip with the kids. And um, I didn't like it. <laughs> I wonder if people are going to watch this video to the end. Well, this is a very long video now. It is. That's why I'm wondering. Because people listen to podcasts all the time and they watch the whole thing. Yeah. So that's what I'm curious about. Well, here's the thing. The attention span of people now is just so much worse. Yeah, it's it's really bad. Like, if we did this a few years ago, we could have gotten, like, 50 views. Yeah. <laughs> now, we can get, like, 10 at most. Do you want to have another prompt? <laughs> yeah, uh, can you give me a second? Of course. I run outside. I'm going to go to the washroom again. Oh, okay. You got to powder your nose. Yeah, I'm going to powder my nose. Okay. Have fun. In the meanwhile, welcome back to ASMR. Oh no, I <coughs> let me tell. Mm. Let me go get my stuff. I have no Five minutes later. Don't mind me, I'm just coming out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was a big closet, don't worry. I fit in there very well for years. Well, I actually blew out the candle I was, I was looking for this. Okay. Magic. Oh wait. You know, I, I keep making these gay jokes myself. I do, but you know, it's like they don't really fit me because they're me, I'm not even part of the community. Oh, well I am, so you know. Well, I am too, but it's not actually, in the letters. You too, yeah. Sorry. It's not in the letters. <laughs> but it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. LGBTQIA. Is there? It's there. It then it goes the... plus. That would be the whole of it. But I, I thought it was LGBTQ plus. But that's what it ended. Well, sometimes people say LGBTQ plus, sometimes they say LGBT plus. True, yeah, it's true. But LGBTQIA, you were there. My letter isn't. Finally! <laughs> Sorry. You're in the community. Don't worry about it. I have also a Facebook group and people were like, well, mm, I'm not sure I'm going to let you in. I'm like, no, oh, bro, I'm not going to let you in. What up? Well, that's so mean. It's just like, uh -huh. right. You know, there's a, that community is supposed to be like accepting and all that. It's not. Like, what? Sorry. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I think uh -huh. most of it is. It's just some people. So maybe you got someone who... Made the group. There's not. There's not then why are they not in the group if they're not going to let people in? I'm confused. So I am confusion. Why is this Arkansas? But this one is not Arkansas. America, explain. Explain what you mean in Arkansas. So what? Oh. Why do you have a lighter? It's my sister's. <laughs> does she smoke? I don't smoke. But does she smoke? She very much does. Oh. Like, she's addicted. Oh, that's not So, good. she very much does. And not just like regular type, or the fancy type, and I really don't understand, it smells so bad. What type? Oh, it's not for the smell, believe me. I know. <laughs> it probably has other stuff in it, but like, it's not the regular, like, it doesn't look like this. Yeah. 
Why do you have That's those? I have it. <laughs> it's chewing gum. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, look, look, look. Wait, is it the super thin ones? Yeah. No. no so it doesn't look like this. Hers doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, I found a pen drive. Um, no, it's not. It's uh. I don't know what type it is really. It's a uh, it's similar color to this. Yeah. It's a thing. Um, and it's it's rolled. It's lighter. It's not this this dark. It's it's rolled and it it's like ashy in the back. So it's it's, it's like a tiny cigar. Okay. I don't know what it is though. Again, I don't smell. She tried the nicotine patches, the thing that you like put in here. And she couldn't uh, open the box. I was like, <laughs> I gave it to her. Yeah, yeah it's, it's tough. Wait, is she trying to give it up? No. But then why try the nicotine patches? Because uh, she realized she was here on Christmas and she forgot to bring her stash. Yeah. And I was like, well, you're not going to get here any because we, we don't smoke at all, the entire family. And then uh, she was like, oh, I'm fine. I'm, like, I'm not addicted. I'm fine. And then a few hours later, not even a few hours later, like literally a few minutes later, she was like, I need, I need some, I need some, I need some. And she was walking back and forth and just... Yeah, I think that was also the psychological thing of, you know, not knowing that she's not going to have any. Yeah, for like days because she can go home as well. And then my mother went out and got some stuff, but she didn't, didn't know what type of cigarettes to buy. And... She bought nic nicotine patches as well, and that's what she was using. She was like, oh my god, no, this is terrible, it like, makes my entire mouth numb. But she was like, well, it looks it, like, does this, so I like it. So she was using it just to pump her lips. Okay. I wanted to like this. So she left it here, but look at it. It's not child friendly, sorry. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a lighter here somewhere. Why? I have my reason. What's yours? My reason is I have smoked. Bruh. I need my to mother doesn't know. It feels like you've got some more tea than I do. Tell me. <laughs> well, my mother doesn't know, that's all. I didn't like smoke smoke. Is it last time I smoked was in Yesterday? Oh sorry, no, no, no. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was New Year's Eve. Hmm, and what did you smoke? If we're keeping it honest. A cigarette? I don't know what you want from me. Hi. What? No. Okay, I then you're good. I haven't seen him in a while. Jesus, okay. I don't want to see him. Oh, so he judges me for it, by the way? He judges me. Really? Well, yeah, here's the thing. He judges me because he would... I think he would judge me. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. He judges me before, so I expect him to, yeah. I don't know if he knows. Because I do know that last time I saw him, I was at a uh, mm -hmm. it was, I don't know, when was it, um, November maybe? He's next door, I can ask him. What? He's next door, I can ask him. <laughs> no, please don't. Hi, when was the last time you spoke to this person? <laughs> and, oh, interesting. Yeah, and we were there for a night, and he pissed me off with something. Oh yeah, I know what he That's did. Cool. I was listening, uh, we put on music, and we listened to the song Whistle. Can you mom? Oh, sorry. You know what that's about, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember two years ago when I realized that I was yeah, climbing so you, out. You know, you know it's bad, yeah. sexual meaning behind that song, right? Fortunately. And I, and I put on the song WAP. I was like, if we're fine and dancing to uh, whistle, which isn't about, uh, which is no. basically the same thing as WAP, then we can listen to WAP and enjoy it. And then I, know, it's it's kind of off. I was listening to both, you know, I was dancing to both, I was singing to both, I was enjoying both of them, right? But then I put on WAP and he turned off mid, mid song. And I got because to it's stop. Because it's kind of beat. Because, uh, because, what? Come again? He probably doesn't like Cardi B. Oh, well, he said that it's that he used a bunch of offensive words just because she's black. And. Mm. Does it as well. Not only him. So oh, excuse this me. Was
Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Mm. So he he used a bunch of offensive words for her, and then said that this she's a bitch and how she just wants to. And that's an offensive word. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know that I I can say. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and how she's awful because she's just using. Uh, her body or something to get stuff from men or something and I was like dude you just listen to the song whistle yeah and it's worse <laughs> well not really but like you know right yeah, like come on and you were completely fine with that so after that whole sexist racist speech I was like mm -hmm. you know what I'm not gonna respond to that and I went outside and smoked a bit and he might have known, I don't know if he knew that's why I went outside, I, I haven't known. Probably he, he has a smell for cigarettes like a butthound, so... Oh, well, then he probably knew. He didn't, he didn't mention it, so you know. He smells it through a wall. But then, but then I got super pissed, so I just went outside and I left him there. And then, and then I don't know how we got into this, because uh, I, I went outside and didn't talk to him through the, for the rest of the night. At least his girlfriend was trying to make it better, you know, she was nice, she was trying to calm her da him down. Because technically they're like, yeah, together, but I don't think, like, sh uh, he is her boyfriend, but she's not her girlfriend, in yeah, a I sense. Know. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. that's the only way you've, you've got reasoning. I feel sad for anyone who would date him, to be honest. Very yes. much. You because can I just definitely now. do better, unless you're like the child the baby uh, of Hitler or something, you know, like, come on. Even they could do better. Sorry, no, no, that was wrong. Also, we, we all grew up with the whole boys pulling their pictures, oh, they just like you theory. Mm -hmm. That goes with you. That sticks with you. It does, and uh -huh. then you look, and then you think, if a guy is hurting you, that's because they care. Actually, I've sort of, like, gotten over it, because that's what I was told, but I always, like, could see it in their eyes, that when they were, like, straight up hitting me, I knew that that wasn't out of anything good. Yeah, that's... So, that's why... have to stop saying that to children, because it's not true, first of all, and second of all, it makes them, it just messes you up. Yeah, it literally it does. Because uh, I, that's the only reason why I'm like thankful for getting beaten up so many times in kindergarten. Like I, I learned what is what. Mm -hmm. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great experience getting beaten up when I was five. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> yeah, it was wanted to get you know broken. I treasure those days. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's beautiful. Um, but uh, but seriously, like uh, I was told that oh, it's probably because they like him. Like, yeah, if I like someone, I'm gonna send them home with a broken nose. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, that, boys will be boys. Boys will be, boys will be held accountable for their actions. Sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, oh. But but I'm I'm sorry. I I I I have to vent. Sorry. Um, the thing yeah. is. It's not okay, because, for, yeah, most of my life, I did think that most boys were like that because no boy has been interested in me, so I have no experience in that. So I was like, hmm, if that's what they tell me, that must be true, right? No. Uh, with my little sister, there was this adorable little boy going to the same class, and she was adorable. Like, that is the closest I've ever gotten to liking someone, mm. because she... She no, <laughs> well, my not, but from him, like he made little drawings and like actual beautiful things that was like, hey, I care about you. Hey, I sort of like you, and like he he even um, crafted something for her for Valentine's Day, yeah. and it was just like, hi, I think I like you, but I'm not sure. But I I really love being your friend and um. His fa favorite um, animal it happens to be the same animal that my sister has, you know, as like a favorite. And yeah. so he drew a fox, and that was an adorable drawing. And and he crafted the envelope that it was put in, and it has. I'm sorry, but it was beautiful, yeah. and <laughs> it almost made me cry because I was like, why didn't boys like that exist when I was that age? Oh, 
now, you know, and then that restored my faith in humanity. And I was like, but boys do be like, do be like, sorry, but boys <laughs> yeah. do sometimes do things that are normal and that should be the one that is normal and not the thing hey i like you so that's not yeah. because you don't like them the people you hurt you wait the people you like and cherish you don't hurt them that's just my definition although no i get it i completely yeah. agree my little brother my little brother he was so cute when he was like five or six he got under the table with the girl he liked and he gave him, no, it sounds <laughs> creepy, but they were fine. Yeah. And he gave him a handmade ring. I don't know where it was from, but he gave, uh, he gave her, made her, made her, made her, her a handmade ring. Sorry, I just wanted to say that. What, what were you saying? Sorry. It's not you are handmade ring. What? Right? No? What? Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, 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 he did. I still have it, by the way. So just, oh, you know. that's a good <laughs> I still got it. I just forgot about it for a second. <laughs> yeah. I was shipping back in the day. Not anymore, not anymore. But I was shipping back in the day. So you, you gave me enough reasons to do so. Sorry, like that day in the park when I was literally back there, like mm. a kilometer, third wheeling, just to make sure I give you enough space. Oh my god. That was something. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, why can't the class ever stay out of my personal business? Because you were the spokesperson for the class. When? Every time we did something, we're like, hi, I'm here. Oops, sorry. I definitely did not do that. I didn't talk to anyone in the beginning. Not, not to anyone. Anybody outside the class. No. Yeah. No, I wouldn't talk to anyone. I what swear I, I was super shy. Maybe it was later? Maybe. I'm later confused. Later it did start, like when we had to start planning for the class, but otherwise, no. Look up from your telescope, take me on this journey home, I don't wanna wait no. I'm confused, sorry. I remember I one time I talked, everyone was fucking quiet, and I was just like, alright. I'm here, I'll talk. I was very proud of my English. I know you were, because in Goyata, where you went around being like, Hi, hi, I speak English. Do you speak English? Let's speak English. Hi. <laughs> and I was like, oh leave God, me alone. That's so embarrassing. I don't even remember okay. that. No? No. Because at that point, I didn't have any education in English, so I wasn't going to talk to anyone. So it was like, especially not you, because you do seem to speak English. I'm not going to do that. So, <laughs> because I was like, Sorry. I speak English, but I'm not going to let anybody else hear I speak English. Mm. Because I was I was really not proud of it. And then you were like, hey, sorry, no, you weren't like that. But like, you're like, hey, I speak English. And I was like, okay, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, because you know, I was... I would embarrass myself. I was in the best two of my last class, which then I found out did not mean a lot. Because, no, because that know. class was just very weak, apparently. But, yeah, I was, the like, the second best in my class before. And I was just very proud of it. But it wasn't actually because of school. <laughs> so, you know. It was just because of shows. It's okay. That's how I learned it. So, Vampire Diaries. Previously on the Vampire Diaries. What? Oh, God, no. Sorry. <laughs> I, I have all these things memorized. Szanatórium, Madaspark. A további fokozom a Budapest bérleták, nem érvényesek. A további innen egy bérleták könnyítjétje, hogy bérletet Thank you. Okay. Well, do you want to hear the tea? Of course, I'm going to hear the tea. I'm going to hear the tea. I mean, what's in 